Hey everybody, it's Alma. Welcome back to Keto Meets Menopause. Hey, hey, hey. everybody it's Alma welcome back to the kitchen so guys the fudge has been such a success in my home I'm trying to kind of combine two recipes if you remember the chocolate bacon recipe that was a total hit guys so I thought why not combine Mitch's recipe with that one to a certain degree so what I did was I only put in half a cup of the butter in his recipe and guys check out this to that I'm gonna add half a cup of bacon drippings. I know you're sitting there saying gross, Alma. I don't think it's gonna be gross, guys. I really don't. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get this melted. Guys, if you wanna take bits and pieces of this recipe, go for it. You don't have to do everything I'm doing. I'm just trying to kind of branch out a little bit, try something different. I also threw in cayenne pepper, guys, at least a half a teaspoon, all right? You can go with an eighth if you'd like. You can go with less. All right, we're gonna let this mix up. And by the way, all the, right now, all the ingredients in, are in here. The, so by the way, I've now switched to doing everything in the pan. Let me go ahead and show you what we're doing next. What's this mess, guys? That, my dears, is bacon. I took two and a half ounces of bacon. I put it in my Ninja, and this is gonna go into the recipe. That's right. Doing the same thing with some nuts. This is the mixed nuts that I purchased from Aldi's. Just creating a little bit of dust. Now, if you want it to be thicker pieces, you can go ahead and just put it in a Ziploc bag and pound away. I wanted it to be more kind of dustish. Okay, so here is our blended mixture. So we're gonna go ahead and add it in. And let's just stir away. All right, guys, so you know what comes after this is just loading it into pans and then seeing what we get in a few hours. All right, guys, see you in a minute. Hey everybody, it is day two of my chocolate creation, and guys, um, this is one of those danger, danger, danger alerts. So I've cut it up, and this stuff is good, guys. Let me tell you, the secret really is to melting that sugar, and it turns into the creamiest, richest, smooth chocolate that you could ever taste. Now, if it's not the fact that I melted the sugar, then it's because of adding the bacon drippings. You don't taste the granulated sugar at all, guys. So uh, this is now cutting up into 42 pieces. You see three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21. So I've made the pieces smaller. Because it's so deep, guys, you could also cut it in half again. I'm not a huge, 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 huge chocolate freak, uh, but this is dangerous, guys. I'm telling you right now, the bite of cayenne that it has afterwards um, that kind of lingers, is delicious. So again, I don't know if it is the fact that we melted the sugar. I don't know if it's the fact that we used the bacon drippings, but this is good. All right, guys, let me know if you try it. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for allowing me to spend time with you. If you haven't already done so, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification button so that you'll know each time I post a new video. All right, guys, have a great day. Bye-bye. Choice Wednesday, it's Onito. Now here's my wife to teach us keto. Pork rinds, pork rinds, rah, rah, rah. Carbohydrates, carbohydrates, blah, blah, blah. Like <laughs> teeth.